but the coolest I'm gonna feel all day wearing this thing. But it's fire though. I don't know if they're as fire as these. Ooh, smells like 2006, but slightly different. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these bad boys right here. This, believe it or not, is my favorite Air Jordan 7 colorway of all time. That includes the originals. Now the original colorways of the Air Jordan 7 originally consisted of the Cardinal 7s, which is a fan favorite. There was the Raptor, but there was no Raptor team at that time, so I don't know what they called them originally. Then there was the Olympic 7, which is awesome because it had a different number on the back. It is number nine instead of the 23, because you know, the USA team, the dream team. Then there was the Hair 7, which is my favorite of the original lineup, as well as the Bordeaux 7. I really like those two. Now starting in 2002 is when we first saw the Air Jordan and seven first retro these did not release until 2006 so a few years later however again like i was saying earlier this right here maybe alongside the i don't know how to say it but i always say cane bray but it's like probably like chambray or something like that they're black they got a little bit of uh flint gray with uh like this weird like powdery blue they're so sexy but anyways that and this colorway are my favorite both of which released in 2006 which i think is interesting because typically my favorite colorways of air jordans tend to be the originals except for with certain models like this one now i did have the original version of this shoe in two different forms one was my size and it was the 2006 version the other was baby size for our little one when she was little she's not little anymore now, like I was alluding to earlier, these are not quite like the original from 2006. They're a little bit different, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But first, that is just one pretty ass outsole. I really love these things. The Air Jordan 7, believe it or not, for the early models, because we did a retro performance review, right? Or it wasn't like a retro performance review. I've done performance reviews on all of the retros, but we did this one that was more like a compilation of like the best retro Jordans to play in, right? And it was pretty much like the, the modern era of Jordan. So from like 94 all the way through 99 ish now that did not include any of the original air jordans from one through nine and if i were to rank one through nine performance wise this would probably be number one but again the outsole is real interesting it takes on what they started with the air jordan 6 which is not herringbone so it was like a big departure back then instead it does circular traction which is very weird because this is not modern day circular traction nowadays we'll see a radial pattern much like the air jordan one but this actually wasn't that bad most likely because of the rubber compound and on top of that if you wear these outside it will burn through evenly so you'll get great traction and it'll last quite a while now the cushion on these guys is not like the original although it is very similar so the original version of the air jordan 7 actually had an embedded or encapsulated air sole unit and it was like a three-fourth length unit so from heel to right about here at the forefoot and i believe that it was encapsulated within polyurethane which is pretty standard especially at the time however these retros ever since the 2002 retro they've actually been top loaded air sole units so there is nothing embedding them there is basically the unit the strobel board and then the insole so it's not quite a pro tro but it was a change that you could consider to be a pro tro before the pro tro <laughs> Now the midsole itself, I don't know what they use on these retros. They just, they don't feel like polyurethane. They don't feel like they crumble or anything like that. So I don't know what it is. It could be polyurethane. It could be something completely different. All I know is that these are one of the more comfortable Air Jordans if you're talking about the one through nine. They feel a lot like the Air Jordan 10. It's like damn near the same tech specs. Now the upper is real interesting because this right here was like during the Hirachi days. So we had Tinker making the Air Hirachi, which is a running shoe. And then there was the Hirachi B-Ball shoe, which is very similar to these. They just basically have an open thing right here instead of this little Jumpman logo with the patch. But these are very much like the Hirachi. So you have the Hirachi sleeve. You also have the independent ankle. You got that little cutout right there. So this is not, this is not like ankle support. You know, everybody's right now is probably crying. Like, what is he doing? It's okay, man. It's not even real leather. But yeah, so basically you're playing in a low top shoe before low tops were made popular. And I know that Kobe made that really, really popular, which is awesome and I love him for it. But this guy right here used to wear two shoes most of the time, especially in his later career. From about the 11 onward, he would wear a mid top and a low top version of the Air Jordan in almost every game. 
Now, as far as the materials go, these guys right here, like I was saying earlier, they don't really use a nice real leather. They do make it look like it. So they got this really cool texture on there. From what I can remember, leather like this is typically called bonded leather. So there are gonna be leather pieces in there. So it's not completely synthetic. So if you're a vegan sneakerhead and you're looking for something that's 100% vegan, this is not gonna be it. So there is gonna be little traces of leather and things like that. Basically, there's enough leather in this for the US government to approve it to be leather. However, the underlay material, the new buck right here is awesome. However, it's not like the original. The original was way lighter gray than this. And this is just super dark. It almost looks like they're dirty. It's got a really interesting look to it. I don't not like it. I still love this colorway. When I see it, I'm just like, man, these are just hella pretty. You know what I mean? Like I love the purple. I love the way that it bounces off of the gray. I think they're fantastic. I will say though that they are different. So if you're expecting that original, like really nice light gray look, you're not gonna get that here. It is much darker. To me, it's good enough, but it is what it is. It's up to you. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And then the ass of the Air Jordan 7 is gorgeous. I just love that little tab. I think it's awesome. I like it when it's got the nine on there too. It just is like a really cool look. I absolutely love this thing. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, they do fit true to size. So whatever you typically wear in your Air Jordan 7s and your other Air Jordans, that's exactly what I would recommend going with. They will be available this Saturday, May 7th for 190 over at retailers such as Phenom and Phenom Global. So we will leave links down below in the description box. And like I was saying before, man, the sevens are one of the most comfortable of the early models because they remove the encapsulated thing. It's a top loaded unit. It feels great. It might take a little bit of breaking time because it's not like super bouncy or anything. It's not zoom air. It's just regular air, but it's still a great thing. Also a couple of features that a lot of OG guys that have been around for a long time are going to like is that they did put the metal tips back on the laces. Oh, fancy. Aglets. Yes, just like the, the last one. The laces do look different to me. They, they look really thin. So I don't know if they changed that or not. It just looks a little weird. I, I can't tell if it's just me. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I mean? The overall shape is that remastered shape. It's not quite remastered, but it's close enough. So they don't Sorry. No, it's fine. But yeah, they don't look exactly like the 2006 version. So a lot of people are gonna like have that shape of the seven like ingrained in their brain. So this is along the lines of modern sevens. The grays are different, all that stuff. Like I was saying earlier, the purple looks the same to me. Even I was able to tell that, that the gray was off. I was like, why is it so dark? They're very dark. I think it's very strange. Uh, I don't know if they couldn't source, you know what I mean? It's just interesting to me because this is supposed to be that shoe, correct? Like it's called the Flint seven well yes so like, there there is no variation this is supposed to be a retro of that colorway so you would think like hey i realize the shape and stuff can be off the cuts and whatnot but a mm -hmm. color is a color is a color this is the excuse that i was always given or the reason i should say the leather tanneries that they once used typically aren't available anymore okay my thoughts though is still that that they can do it you know what i mean it would just probably take them a little bit more time to find mm -hmm. exactly what it is they're looking for and i don't think that they put in that time i guess i just always figured when you talk about the tanneries i don't think of it as the color i think of it more of the quality of the material like it's a, it's a little bit of both so yeah because somebody's got to put this in there yeah the cow doesn't turn gray by itself no i know but i mean <laughs> so. if places like paint like you can get paint in so many colors so like that's you it. can't figure out the dyeing process that's exactly my thing like i don't know can you uh grab that red box down there so this is a little tease okay these i'm so excited about all right this is the the part where like what you're saying is what i've kind of been saying mm -hmm. for like what 12 years when they want to do it they can do it that's my my main issue you do it sometimes then you make it mad limited so it's like you slap all of the major fans and true fans in the face you again gr something so that we can actually get this thing but again you still are like just with you, you know what I mean? And so like, that's the thing where it's like, you can do this, you choose not to do it. Now we do have something really quick, uh, actually two things. Uh, the first thing is, but he's hella fire, dude. Like, I just gotta say. This... Also, it's spring in Sacramento. Oh, yeah. It's like 90 degrees, allergies are flowing, and he's toughing it out to I show this off. <laughs> I, re I refuse to wear anything else right now. I am pushing my own this is a brand that I created. It's called Sense Apparel. You can follow the Instagram account down below in the description box. It's simply at Sense Apparel. And uh, once we have everything ready to roll out as far as inventory and things like that, we will update you on that platform. Although we will say something here too, like I'll like let people know. But if you want to be the first to know, it's going to be on Instagram first. Will we be letting the Discord know even sooner? Uh, actually, that's a great plug because that's what the next plug is. <laughs> it is for our Discord. This isn't scripted, guys. No, it's not. We don't script anything. <laughs> 
So uh, yeah, so our Discord uh, community is awesome. It's uh, basically people that pitch in to our channel every month. They pitch in five bucks or 10 bucks, and we really appreciate everybody over there. It's a great community on top of that where like-minded individuals can come together and talk about everything, including their differences without making fun of each other or trolling or being a and all that stuff. It's really weird, it's really awesome, and it's not like anything else that you see on the internet. So that's what this is. That's how we're able to afford stuff like this so we can do all of our reviews. And we really appreciate it. Our gold tier members get giveaways every month. And this is this month's giveaway. For Ooh. this guy. Yeah, they smell good. And uh, yeah, we do give them away in your exact size. These are not my size. I bought these specifically to give them away and give back. So we really appreciate everybody over there. If you wanted to be a Discord member, there's gonna be another link in the description box and you can go over there. It'll head you over to weartesters.com where you can read all about what it means to be a Discord member with our community over at Wear Testers. <clears throat> Sorry, that was some allergy phlegm right there and we're not cutting it out. I was just impressed with how Fluid Smoothly. that was. Yeah. I know. I was just like, there's not going to be a cut. There's not going to be a cut. You can make it. And then the fun <laughs> kicked in. And he was just like, we've come cut something. I'm just like, not today, fool. Not today. But anyways, that pretty much takes care for these guys. Again, this is the Air Jordan 7 in the Flint colorway. I think they're awesome. It's, again, my favorite colorway of the shoe other than the cambray or chambray. I will say you did get gypped on your tongue on that one. Why? It's, oh, it's like barely got me. All solid gray. I so know. I had to like check it out being like, did they change that? Oh, is that what you were looking at yeah, earlier? Yeah, so sorry. The Jordan 7 tongues are all different. Mm -hmm. Every single one, every single pair, none of two are going to be alike. And uh, it's one of their weird features and stuff. And yeah, this one's pretty solid gray, but that one has all the cool little cuts. And Mm -hmm. uh, designs, the 90s stuff, which I really like. So, um, but yeah, these things are awesome. I hope that you are able to get a pair if you're looking to grab them and everything. Also, did you have the original in 2006? And if you did, are you going for this one? And if you are or are not, let me know why. Thank you once again for watching. Thanks for all the support. And until next time, guys, have a good one. <sighs> I am sweating balls right now.